Now, around six years ago, I had a lesson going from this technique here to this, and it made this huge change in ball flight and distance. Now, this is something I see players do all the time. Loads of my students on Skillist do this problem, making this change every single week for students. And it's something that took me out of a slump that I had in my career at that point. To where immediately after lesson, I must have dropped around seven shots, and that's not exaggerating. So what this was, I went from having a very vertical, high right shoulder going through the golf ball. So where when I was hitting the shots, they were just really weak quite wayward, quite thin as well. As me just trying to replicate what I did back then, you can see it's not a very good shot to the left and short. So then I remember in that lesson, I was told from my coach, Lee Cox, best long drive coach in the world, he told me, right, I want you to go and hit that ball and feel like you're dropping down that right shoulder on top of the golf ball. And then immediately in one shot, it massively changed my distance and my accuracy. So huge, huge change. The feeling going through the golf ball was incredibly different. And the cue of making that right shoulder feel like it's hitting the ball really instantly got that into my swing and that feeling straight away. So then with enough practice, I started doing what every golfer wants to do. And that is hitting the ball straighter and longer pretty much instantly. I mean, looking from here, me just replicating that same feel immediately equates to bigger distances. So why this helped so much, it's because it did two main things for me. Now, when I was having this straight right shoulder, which I can guarantee probably about 95% of you watching this do this, maybe more, is when I had that high right shoulder, it, I was really struggling to be able to continue my rotation through the golf ball. I would essentially stall out my turn and have a big flip through the golf ball. And of course, that was quite exaggerated how I did it there. But I couldn't keep that rotational talking going through the shot, so I was losing a lot of my potential power. So one, having that right shoulder then dropping down towards the golf ball, hitting the ball with it, that then kept me turning. Because you see, as soon as that right shoulder drops down onto the ball, you can see it opens up my torso. So that right there is why we're seeing that big difference in power is through that continuous rotation that I'm getting through the golf ball. I'm not losing anything, I'm not stalling. I'm just continuing to turn and getting these really nice, powerful shots out. I mean, there, 162. Me just replicating this, I'm already hitting the ball from where I was a good few weeks ago. God, probably about eight yards further instantly. See how short I hit it back in the day before this. So it really helped with that real good whippy rotation through the golf ball. But that's not all, because you can notice here, what else has happened is the ball is already going tremendously straighter than what it was doing. Why it's going so much straighter is again, because of how that side bend, so that's what we're getting here, that right shoulder dropping down, is affecting the club's travel going through the golf ball and the club faces travel. So yes, the rotation helps the speed, but as well, that rotation through that side bend is also helping the club face stay stable. Because when I'm too high with that right shoulder, it's really easy to flip that club face over because the rotation is stalling. I'll be getting ultra handsy through the golf ball, but it's also really hard to maintain my club path. Now, when I was having that right shoulder too high, I'd have quite an inside really dropped under early downswing. But because I couldn't turn through the golf ball too well, I'd stall because of that movement, my arms would throw out and I'd actually diverge my path on the outside. So I'll be inside halfway down and then I'll be delivering really roughly around a five degrees to the left club path, so out to in. So that then mixed with the turn the club face over from not being able to turn, I was hitting these smothered kind of pull hooks. So all of a sudden doing that in, you know, in your career, in your professional tournaments that you're playing in, is absolutely devastating, you can't compete. So as soon as getting that right shoulder dropping down, like I said, it's getting that rotation through, but it's also helping, one, maintain that club path. My club path now can't diverge out. We can also see with that better rotation for getting that right shoulder down, it's helping the club face remain square to the arc going through, less time for it to close down, which is why all together it's just making it stronger of a golf shot and a lot straighter too. And it just feels more whippy. I mean, that one there wasn't necessarily the best strike I've ever hit, but it's still gone extremely straight and it's gone quite long. Remember, these are eight irons I'm hitting here. So here we go. Getting that right shoulder dropping down onto that golf ball. And we can see these really nice 
long but straight shots. So how to get this into the swing is building it up slowly. Now, luckily for me, when I was in that lesson, I got this fairly fast and to be able to do it, which is very unusual for me. It normally takes me ages to learn something. So what we want to do and what we still did in that lesson was doing half swings. So what we call the nine to three drill, nine o'clock to three o'clock, but we're making sure we're really dropping that right shoulder down on it and going hard at it. Don't go slow, go hard at it. We don't want to train this movement to go hard. So nine to three, so about roughly half a backswing and stop it in half a follow through, but really drop that right shoulder down hard and see how far you can hit it there. So you can still see there, still managing to get it out a decent little distance there. Hit some half swings, just really bunt them out there. When you get one, you can still get it a reasonable little distance like that one there. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction, just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.